Wouldn't it be awesome just to spend a day at the beach and just enjoy your day? Well, how are you going to make the most of your day? Well, if you're surfing or going tide pooling or fishing or diving, you would need to understand the tides. And I'm here to help you with that. So physicists, astronomers, oceanographers, listen up because this is really going to help you make the most out of your day. Here is spring tides and neap tides, and tides will occur based off of the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun. Uh, there is an entire cycle uh, of moon phases that um, undergoes when the moon will rotate around the earth. So in a month, you have the moon and the sun lined up, and you will have two spring tides. And when the sun and the moon are perpendicular, you will have two neap tides within that month. Now, if you don't believe me, let's try graphing these tides. And this is going to help us because we are going to be able to use Excel. And part of this tutorial is to help you learn how to graph these tides in Excel. Here is, oh, I cheated a little, and this is what it should probably look like. You're going to have one high tide and... Um, followed by low tide and then a high tide followed by low tide in a day. So in summer you have two high tides and two low tides in a day. That's why you have these squiggly lines here. This is the graphing within 14 days and uh, if we times this by two this would be about a month. So I said that you have two spring tides where the high tides and the low tides are uh, going to be the most drastic. So here is a spring tide, here is another spring tide and a neap tides. So two neap tides. So here's one neap tide and another neap tide, and this is starting the neat, the next neap tide for the for the uh, next month. We want to create a graph that that may uh, depict a little bit better of where we actually live. So guess what? I live on Oahu, and people spend money uh, to vacation on this island. I better probably appreciate where I live and probably look at the currents and tides here. So check this website out. You can go to hawaiitides.com slash oahutides.asp and click on wherever you want to click on. I'm choosing Oahu, but you can have any locations. And I have my students assigned to pick the area that they live most closest to. I uh, will choose Waikiki and find a tide of the month and you can do this for any uh, of the locations that are on this website I, ha I want you guys if you are my students to look for the month you're born in uh, I'm gonna choose July because I'm born in July and I can choose any day um, let's try the future July 2015 maybe I'm planning a birthday party so let's check this month and check out all this. Okay, so it looks like I was right. You have uh, one high, uh, two high tides and two low tides in the course of one day. Okay, and um, the tide heights are here. So I want to be able to graph this data and part of this tutorial is helping us understand Microsoft Excel. So let's, let's get the headings in there too. And you can just uh, highlight the whole month that you decide to graph and go ahead and graph this. So if you're doing this along with me, uh, please do this. And you might need to pause the videos because I'm going pretty quickly. So you can pause and rewind. That's a good thing about a video. Okay, so uh, copy and paste it into an Excel worksheet like this. Oh, it's very nice. And I want to make sure to uh, keep these titles not cut off like sunrise and sunset. So it's not cut off like this. Uh, that really makes it really nice and professional. So that's going to be a pretty, pretty cool thing. Hey, I want to teach you something about Excel. Okay, so let's say that I want to highlight this amount and I want to graph this. So I will insert a chart, insert a scatter plot, and I think this is the nicest looking one. So when I do this, it is going to be. Is it's not graphing my data correctly? You know why? Because look, these are all have this all has the character feet in it. So if you want to um, make sure that Excel sees these as numbers, you're gonna have to change these two numbers because it's thinking that it's just a bunch of text right now because it has that feet in there. So I'm gonna get rid of the feet by highlighting it like this, and then you can 
find and select data right here. So find and select data, click replace, and we're going to take everything that says feet, ft, period, and replace it with nothing. So I put nothing in there and say replace. Oh, boom, Excel made 119 replacements. And now these all don't have feet. So when I um, go ahead and make my chart, it will have uh, it will recognize these things as numbers. I do want to make sure to include my units, so I'm going to include it at the title heading. That way, whenever you see the number, you know, okay, what does that number mean? Feet and in science, we always want to include our units. Okay, so that is going to be the graph that we're looking at. All right, so uh, when let's go ahead and graph this and see if I can reproduce that graph that I showed you in the beginning of this video. So highlight everything like this. Okay, and I'm going to graph the tides and uh, press control copy, insert a scatter plot. And here is the plot that you should choose because it's going to make the best tiny graph. Oh, that's perfect. All right, so remember uh, let's get rid of this because there's only one color, so no need to have a legend there. So click on it and press delete. And this is my graph. Let's analyze this and make sure this is correct. So we have the course of a month going on here. All right. Um, I'm going to have to change this data that's down here. I want to make, sh make sure that, yes, there is a sp uh, spring tide. And the second spring tide is cut off, so we have the we have it here, and then we have it almost beginning for the next month here. We also have neat tides, which is here, the the uh, narrower part of this, and we have um, over the course of a day one high tide, uh, sorry, two high tides and two low tides. Now this high tide is not as high as this high tide in the course of the same day, because. Um, nature is not perfect, and there's going to be obstacles in the way, especially in uh, Waikiki Beach, which I've uh, showed you here. And sometimes the high tides and the low tides aren't going to be perfect, but we do know that there is too high and too low in each day, and a sp two spring and two neap in each month. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, uh, learn a little bit about Excel and how I can continue to make this graph even better. Okay. One thing that uh, I noticed that some people might do is select the wrong data. So if I just had the times selected with height here and I made a graph like this, some of you want to make sure that you don't do this. But And I, I make a scatter plot here. Look at this. It's going to be circular because the times reset each day. So you're going to have this type of graph and I want to make sure you don't have this type of graph. Okay. Uh, remember that when I had this, I highlighted. See how it's um, see how it's showing what I've already highlighted. So I've highlighted this, and that's on my x-axis. Excuse me. This is what's on my y-axis, and then I uh, highlight this, which is in purple, which is what's on my x-axis. Now notice that my x-axis has two variables. So instead of saying, okay, here's the date and the time, uh, you Excel automatically just change them into arbitrary numbers. So my first data point is data point number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way to 120 different data points. That's not true because I don't have 120 days, nor do I have 120 months that I'm doing. So I want to make sure to click on this so, so that I can uh, change change it so that people aren't confused when they read my graph. You always in science have to uh, have a correct the axis title. So click on your um, chart tools and you click on layouts. For this axis, I'm going to use the primary, primary or horizontal axis. I'm going to get rid of those numbers, but I want to make sure that my titles are correct and use the axis title to explain what's going on here. So this is actually uh, 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 graphing time. It's So uh, I'm going to write time here. And this is uh, four times a day over one month. So there's four data points for each day over the course of one month. And that's going to be a correct depiction of my uh, 
x-axis. If I'm going to do that, why don't we change the y-axis to rotated title here. And this is going to be the tide height in feet. So make sure you have the units listed there. And boom, there is my graph titles. Uh, the, my axis title. So for my graph title, I can just click on the graph title here and change it right over here. I always want to say this is my uh, uh, variable versus my other variable. So uh, tide height over time over a one month period. That looks beautiful. If you follow me to, till now, you did a great job. All right, so click off of the graph and make sure you have this outline here. We're going to um, cut this out of the page. And we're going <laughs> to, ooh, that's kind of scary. You don't want to cut it out of the page, do you? But you want to go to a different sheet. So you can click on a different sheet here and put it on a different sheet so it, so it uh, prints nicely. Boom, there's your graph there and to make it nice and large so we can uh, we can uh, see it when it gets printed out let's do that okay and you you are gonna have a different graph depending on what month you chose so your graph won't look exactly like mine and I want you to experiment with different months or because I didn't want you to choose the exact same month as me so that you can think for yourself and decide what you're gonna do for you for um, your month that you choose. So uh, one, one thing I do uh, want to you guys to do so that it's so that we can see the difference between the spring and the neat tide is to label it. So here I have chosen to insert word art. So I you can choose any type of uh, style of text and put your text in here. And uh, uh, you want to label the spring tide and the neat tide. So type in spring tide. You can change it to whatever size you want by clicking on it and then right clicking and making it smaller, uh, whatever size that you choose. Okay, and here is your label for the spring tide. Uh, I'll, I'll put it right here because I can draw arrows now. So I'm going to insert this arrow and say this is one area where you're, we're having springtime one time of the month and since there's springtime twice a month here is the next area for springtime boom okay so we'll do that for springtime do the exact th same thing for neap tide and then you'll be good to go and boom now I have the neap tide as well okay so what you what you want to do is print this in one page so click on the graph and then go go to uh, file print it's important to click on the graph it'll pr It'll print nicely exactly that graph that you need. Uh, you may need to go back and do that. I'm not going to print it now, but you might need to print it uh, several times to make sure that it's uh, the exact thing that you want. And then you can go back to the other sheet as well. Let's finalize that before we print it. Down here, you can toggle between the different sheets. And I, I clicked on that sheet there. Um, we have nice column headings, which is great, but we don't have a graph title. So let's. Uh, Click on the and uh, highlight all of these, merge and center a title. So now we can click on our title. And our title is going to be the graph, the um, tide height for July 2015. Whatever yours is, you know, you would want to have that. Um, you, you can align this and make sure that it's centered uh, in the middle like this so you have the vertical alignment and the horizontal alignment and make sure you capitalize some things that you want to and make it large enough for everybody to see nicely and once you make it professional like that make sure that you go to view so that you can do your page 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 break preview and make sure that um, there is no page breaks in the center of what you what you need. So yeah, there's going to be three pages to this graph, and that's fine because there's a lot of data points on the. Data Boom, and that is exactly what you need. Okay. Great job. I hope you learned a lot about tides and you can even graph it. So
congratulations. Have good fun.